Hi, hello, my dear friends. Welcome back to the channel. This is a series related to MIMO FTM. This is the fourth part. In this uh, part, I will be talking about uh, zero forcing equalizer in a generic case, uh, uh, and I will talk about ge geometric interpretation of zero forcing equalizer. Then I will talk about the disadvantage of zero forcing equalizer. Okay. So in the earlier videos, I had considered the MIMO, which is just two cross two. But in this uh, in this video, I will uh, we will consider you know the generic case, which is R cross T. So these two are the equations which are pretty much uh, important. Uh, okay, I will capture them in the next slide. Uh, these these are the ones. So I have taken uh, now in a generic way, which is uh, with respect to R cross three dimensions. We need to uh, figure out uh, the solution uh, to find uh, the W matrix uh, uh, in uh, under the three conditions. Uh, uh, case number one is R is equal to T. Here channel matrix was considered square matrix and it is invertible for which you know w is equal to h inverse is the solution so this we had seen in the uh, previous video and even we had seen the physical interpretation of it um, but uh, in this video we will see uh, the further cases that is case number two so in this case if you see this is not valid why because if i go back to my uh, diagram and if i see here uh, you know the t is equal to two so r is also equal to two if i make r is equal to one uh, which you know for which it will give r less than t then i will have only one equation for which i will have two two unknowns x1 and x2 so is this uh, solvable no the solution does not exist so this is invalid that's why uh, uh, we need to focus on the third case which is you know r greater than t in this case what happens let's go back to the diagram let's say i have got two, two more antennas for which i will say r is equal to 4 then how does my h matrix look like it would look like r cross t which is uh, 4 cross 2 which is a tall matrix right so here also we have column number one column number two uh, here also we can do the similar physical interpretation which had been done in case of uh, uh, previous videos uh, that will give the clarity but uh, in this video particularly we will look for the uh, generic solution or generic equation uh, to solve this so the main goal is to find out w in this case okay so i will consider y is equal to hx okay uh, so what is the solution uh, so if you see this uh, equation then uh, we have got uh, y1 y2 yr and uh, these mean number of equations right so here the number of unknowns uh, unknowns is less whereas number of equations are more so solution may or may not exist in in which case we need to do uh, uh, best fitting right so that is as per mathematics we, we, we say in you know, a least square fit so we should be doing this particular uh, kind of, uh, of uh, uh, scheme so, such a way that uh, uh, we get uh, the required solution so for that uh, let us get into the derivation so in the generic form this is the equation which i will which uh, which is which has been considered okay so y is equal to h uh, theta plus w okay so uh, x bar now is equal to theta bar here and uh, this w bar is a noise all right now consider the likelihood function with respect to vector parameter theta bar so this is a different concept for now just uh, for sake of understanding uh, you consider uh, uh, this equation uh, mainly you know uh, to estimate uh, this uh, theta bar uh, we need to consider this likelihood function and it is written like this uh, considering uh, the fact that the noise vector is a Gaussian okay so we need to maximize the condition is we need to maximize this uh, likelihood function okay this is the problem statement uh, but uh, to maximize this if you clearly see this is minus so uh, it boils down to minimization of uh, uh, this particular uh, uh, norm square this is nothing but the least square uh, estimation problem okay uh, so this is exactly what i was talking uh, a few uh, uh, moments back um, so we need to solve this so here note that uh, uh, you know if you consider this uh, w bar if you consider this uh, w bar as a random quantity uh, for which uh, you know we don't have uh, knowledge of any distribution then it will become a least square estimation problem whereas if uh, you know that the distribution is Gaussian, uh, then uh, uh, this becomes a maximum likelihood estimation problem. Okay, so how to find the uh, minimum of this? Okay, 
so how to find the minimum of equation number 10 it's like uh, uh, you differentiate with respect to theta bar partial differentiation and should be equated to zero so i am going to expand uh, this particular norm square so this derivation uh, i will not go through uh, it is uh, clearly derived step by step uh, it is the ball is in our code to, to go through each and every step and derive very clearly so i have even written down the uh, you know the required uh, uh, derivative formulas finally what you will get is uh, equation number 12 so if you see here what is my w this is my w okay so w is given by this particular uh, equation okay this is the least square uh, solution um, so this is nothing but even pseudo inverse okay uh, now let us consider some special cases uh, uh, let's say you know n is equal to m or in our case it is r is equal to t in which case h will become a square matrix then if you solve this okay if you solve this finally uh, finally you will arrive at h inverse if h inverse uh, exists okay then the solution finally becomes h inverse into y bar this is the full rank case which we had considered in, in our previous videos right when r is equal to t so the generic solution is equation number 12 uh, and uh, the specific solution which we had considered in the previous video was equation number 14 i hope uh, the derivation and things are uh, clearly noted down here so let's get into the geometric interpretation of least square so this is the particular uh, equation uh, this is a particular model uh, here if you clearly see you know each and every column h1 h2 hm or the column vectors of h right let's say for example noise is zero you know then we have then we can write it like this so what is what is it saying the y is a linear combination of vectors h1 h2 up to hm right so on or in other words what we can say is you know y bar lies in the plane defined by this h plane okay so this is how the diagram you can write it down so the moment we have this y bar lying in the same plane uh, plane as that of h plane um then uh, the, the solution exists okay but uh, uh, that that is the case when the noise is equal to zero but what happens if there is a noise let us see here so in the presence of noise uh, you know the y y bar you know y bar lies outside the h plane you know, it would look like this okay as per this particular diagram so this is y bar uh, which is without noise whereas this y bar is with noise which is lying outside the plane if you clear if you clearly see you know uh, the y bar with noise is clearly deviated is clearly deviated from the y bar uh, without noise right so which means there is an error so that error is written like this okay if i draw the uh, you know perpendicular quantity from there to the h plane this 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 is this is how it looks like now if you see this error okay error is uh, this particular uh, one this error uh, is lengthier because this represents the hypotenuse right in this uh, triangle so error is more in this case but when will the error become minimum when error uh, uh, lies you know exactly on this line like especially you know the error becomes minimum when uh, the y with noise uh, uh, or the error is perpendicular to the edge pane right so that is what is exactly mentioned over here uh, you know uh, we need to minimize the error as much as possible right that's what uh, uh, the least square solution which we have taken if you want to minimize that the, the condition is error should be perpendicular to edge plane so this is the equation in uh, we, i mean uh, this particular condition can be written uh, in this form so in which case uh, you know if i solve this okay this is the principle of orthogonality um, uh, this matrix h transpose e bar if i solve it i would get back my equation this square equation so error is y minus h theta because uh, noise is the one right which is uh, causing the deviation so uh, the, the error would be y minus h theta so if i substitute h bar uh, i mean h transpose into e e bar uh, then if i equate and if i solve i will get this uh, the least square solution 
uh, so this this is the interpret uh, this is the geometric interpretation i hope the concept is uh, clear here so now i want to talk about the three things okay so first one is uh, let us take the least square solution so now this was r cross t right now let us say let us take a single input multiple output single input means the transmitter is equal to t is equal to 1 which is r cross 1 okay if i take that one uh, even um, what you will get is uh, uh, mission and you will get a norm of h bar so you can solve for this okay this is the uh, equation for uh, mrc y bar is equal to hx bar okay so i will simply take uh, for the sake of understanding i will just take uh, you know r is equal to t for which my w is equal to h bar is the solution right so I, if i want uh, this one i am going to multiply uh, h inverse of hx bar so this will work out very well so here if you clearly see there is no noise right uh, th there is no problem here this is the, this is the actually optimal solution when there is no noise or when your snr is very very good okay but the moment when you have noise let's say i have noise here n bar then what will happen uh, this will become x bar plus h inverse n bar this quantity is enhancing your noise okay so this is the disadvantage of uh, zero posting uh, receiver this enhances the noise and and hence uh, it, it doesn't become very attractive solution uh, when you have low snr or when you have a significant noise in the system so then what is the solution when we have noise so when we have noise so there is a different uh, uh, equalizer uh, that is related to mms equalizer so um, we will talk about mms equalizer in the upcoming videos um, so which will become a more optimal solution under the presence of uh, uh, noise um, please stay tuned thank you very much please subscribe have a great day bye bye